everyone. Welcome back. I am Sandy, if you are new, and I have a haul video for you today. So I have some items from Dollar Tree and Hobby Lobby and Marshalls and TJ Maxx. So let's get going in here. So first off, I'll start with Dollar Tree. And I didn't pick up a whole lot um, at Dollar Tree. They're just, uh, you know, I, I don't really need um, most of the things they have there I already have so I don't really need to pick up much there but I always like to look to see what's new and I had not seen these stickers before hopefully the glare isn't too bad but I thought these would be great for some different mixed media projects so I have this one here with a bunch of different butterflies I've been wanting to do some more uh, projects. Hopefully you saw the one I did with the Dear Julie Julie Digitals. I did some art canvases. Um, if you missed that video, make sure you check it out. And then here's a bunch of different locks and keys. And then here is one with some cameras, telephone, sewing machine. I really like that. And I had never seen this one before. These are frames and they have little scenes, travel scenes. The Eiffel Tower and the Leaning Tower of Pisa and some other travel kind of themed uh, stickers. So I think these will be fun and some feathers and some hearts. So I'm going to try to do different things like painting them, um, doing some different techniques on top of them, just to, just to kind of have some fun. And it's, you know, a low investment <clears throat> if the things don't turn out. So I picked those up from the Dollar Tree. And then at Marshall's, I um, had been wanting another, I have a larger rectangle frame like this, um, and um, I had been wanting to find a smaller one, and I really like the round um, shape, of the arch shape of this, so you open it up and you put your image in there. Um, yeah, I like putting photos in there, and um, I like doing some different Cricut um, um, etching projects and things like that and putting them in here and some foiling projects. Sorry if there's a glare, but I really like that a lot. Um, and then, oh, and I, I forgot, I did pick these up at Dollar Tree as well, the seed packets. And um, so I have some project ideas um, in mind, plus I'm gonna use the seeds, but they were four for a dollar. And I think the images are really pretty. Um, so I just picked up a variety of different images and I think this will be great in um, like a spring um, type of journal or project ideas and then I picked up a few vegetable ones as well I thought these would be good in like a cookbook or recipe um, themed uh, journal so I did pick those up at Dollar Tree as well um, I did um, from over on Instagram and I believe this was um, Memory Lane D Stash um, is where I got these from. But these are book plates. And I just love these. Aren't those gorgeous? So I got a few of the butterfly ones and then a few of these pansy ones. And again, I think those these will be perfect for spring. Love these book plates. So they're, um, I think they're vintage. So... And then next up, we'll jump over to Hobby Lobby. So I'm pulling these over a little bit at a time. So I had been wanting to pick up some more of these kind of brass colored um, clips and they had some in stock. And these were 40% off. So I picked up two of those. <clears throat> I like using these for my spine bangles. And then again, I was looking around at the clearance. So I've gone to three different Hobby Lobbies in our area, just looking to see what's on clearance. And I went ahead and picked these up. So these were $1.24. Um, you get 24 envelopes. And this is kind of a real deep uh, maroon or burgundy color. And this one is kind of a, 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 a teal, a deep teal color. Again, the envelopes. Check in the glare. And then we have these purple ones here for $1.24. Uh, 
and I think that's a good price. And then this one actually has uh, the folded cards as well as the envelopes for $1.24, and I kind of like that green color. So I thought that was a good deal. I could always, I love adding these into journals and things like that. Next up, they had all their paper on sale, and I wanted to try out, they have, this is called Extra Heavyweight. They say it's 300 GSM, so I want to test it out and see if it really is a little bit thicker. Always on the lookout for a little bit thicker cardstock for backing images and things like that. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, this is nice. Oh, yeah, that's a real nice cardstock. Okay, I'm very pleased with that. I'm glad I bit the bullet. That's a really nice. So um, I had not noticed it before. I'm sure it's probably been there, but for whatever reason, I hadn't noticed it. And uh, so this was 40% off. So I think it was around 13 bucks for 100 sheets. So I think that's pretty, pretty reasonable. And then they had these 40% off. And these are, it's the ephemera pack. And I love these labels. I think they're so cool. So I picked up two of those. Those are great just for when you're making um, a bunch of different ephemera. Um, you can decorate up things with those. So I like having those at the ready. And then, and those were 40% off. Those weren't on clearance. Then I came across these tags here, 32 cents for 25 pieces. And I really like that shape. So I picked up two of those. Those are a, a cream and a white. And then these circle ones were 44 cents in the cardstock. And I thought, gosh, for that price, it's great to have them around just for, you know, quick little tuck in some happy mail that you're sending off to someone. Um, put it in the pocket of a journal. You could also decorate them up very easily. Um, I came across this wax seal with this flourish on here for $1.12. So I went ahead and picked that up. And um, over in the sewing section, um, I saw these clothespins with the sewing um, for $1.24. And I'm going to be making some more sewing journals. So I thought that would be fun to use in there. And then these beads... They're really pretty. I don't know how well it'll show up, but they have kind of pink and white and red. I mean, yellow, pink and white and yellow in there. And they have a nice cut on them so that the light hits them. And it was $2.24 and they're normally $8.99. But I thought those were really pretty. And then I didn't have any bronze chain or brass chain. I had silver and gold. So for $2.49, I picked that up. And then they had these cords on sale. This is a thin one. So one millimeter uh, leather for $0.62. Cents. And this one is two millimeter. And this is four yards. And this is five yards. And I thought these might be nice um, to use for some different jewelry pr projects and things like that. Um, I think that is everything that I picked up on clearance. But um, I did go ahead. Um, they had their all their jewelry shop stuff 40% off. Or no, 50% off. So I did pick up another pack of these um, loop kilt pins or sometimes they're safety pin brooches um and i picked up another pack of those so that was half off and then i did not have any of these head pins um, i had the ones that have the loop on them so i wanted to get a silver and a gold in um with the flat head pin and then i ran out of my spacers so i thought i would try this is a small spacer um, 1.2 by 6.34 and then this is 1.5 by 5 millimeter so they're just each individual 
little spacers to add onto your um, charms and things like that. So I wanted to pick those up and those were 50% off. So I thought that was a good price. Um, and then I went over to the um, ribbon and fabric area and I had ran out of this um, I had ran out of this ribbon so I wanted to get some more show it to you I really think that's fun I like that a lot it looks nice on the edge of uh, papers and tags and things like that and then I had not seen this before um, and I just think it's perfect for spring. It actually goes really well with this paper I have right here. But these are rosettes on this uh, netting back here. And I have some ones that are just um, like a cream color. And when I saw these with all the pretty spring colors on there, the pink, green, and yellow, I thought, ooh, I like those. I like those a lot and it goes so well with these beads too and look it does go really well with this paper yes I have some ideas for this paper that um, I'll be doing some videos on so make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed I also want to um, remind people over in our Facebook group junk journal friends we have a challenge going on for February and the winner gets a $10 Amazon gift card. So make sure you go over there and check that out. Um, you need to post your tag by the 29th of February to be eligible to win. So um, one other thing, um, I have one more thing from Hobby Lobby, but let me show you before I um, do that one is I want to show you um, what I picked up at TJ Maxx. And... I don't know if you all saw my butterfly napkins in the uh, previous haul, recent haul, but I saw these bunny napkins and I had to get them. Aren't they adorable? So cute. And I want to see if the butterfly, when you opened up the butterfly one, um, you actually get four butterflies. So let's open bunny and see if you get multiple bunnies. Let's take a look. Oh, yep. Look at that. You get four bunnies. How cute is that? Oh my goodness. I love those napkins. And I will be putting um, some of these in my Etsy shop, so keep an eye out for that. And then here we have Peter Rabbit. This is so cute. And look, you get four of the Peter Rabbits. Oh my gosh. And the other layer comes off really easy, so that's nice. There's your Peter Rabbit. And then the butterfly. Isn't that gorgeous? So it's a totally different butterfly from the other one that I picked up. And then we also have, look how cute that is. Now run along and don't get into mischief. Peter Rabbit napkin. And these eggs, I'm definitely going to make some rice paper, faux rice paper with these eggs. I think they're just so pretty. And then this one, a Peter Rabbit hop, little rabbit hop, hop, hop. I just thought these would be fun to make some um, decoupage tags and Easter cards and things like that. So that's going to be fun. And again, like I said, I'll be putting these in my Etsy shop. I was going to put a little bundle together of like all the Peter Rabbits together. And then I picked up this strawberry one. I have been, there's a specific project I have in mind for this one. So I'm really excited to, to use that. So that's what I picked up at TJ Maxx. I also picked up a couple things for my daughter for her birthday. Um, I already have them packed up so I can't really show them to you but I got her these beautiful acrylic butterfly hair clips and then I got her these really pretty candles they're twist taper candles and they have it's not rainbow but it they're multicolored throughout they're really pretty candles 
So I thought um, we'll be getting her some other stuff, you know, while we're out there and um, visiting her. But um, I wanted to get just a couple little things to give her uh, when we get there. So, and then this is the um, paper pad that I wanted to show you. And then I have um, a couple other little things I want to show you that are um, vintage that I picked up and I'll show you those after I show you this paper pad. I tell you, I don't know if Hobby Lobby has upped their game on paper pads or if I've just never really noticed these. And why can I never cut these open properly? There we go. But um, I've picked up, a, like this is my third paper pad I think I've picked up at Hobby Lobby. And I think it's so pretty. And it's called Fabric Floral. And I thought this would be perfect for um, what I'm thinking about doing for March for my patrons. And it almost has like a little texture to it. I don't know if you can hear that. But isn't that gorgeous? I love those blue backgrounds. And you get three of each sheet. Look at that. It's just so pretty. They're single-sided. Um, and they have a, there's a nice weight to them too. They're not real uh, thin and flimsy, but it, it does look like wallpaper, doesn't it? So pretty. And this pink one. There's a little bit lighter blue background. Oh, look at this yellow, wow. That's gorgeous. So pretty. Oh, look at that. Gosh, these are so pretty. And they all have that kind of texture to them. I like that. Oh, look at that. Look how pretty that is. And look at that with that. Gorgeous. And I'm loving these deep, deep blues on here. <clears throat> so pretty. And look at that. I might have enough to do a purple. I've been wanting to do a purple journal. Uh oh, I just knocked all my inks over. And then this beautiful. Oh, wow. This is, they're really pretty, I think. Let me know what you all think. I think this is really pretty. And this was 40% off. So it was like around $8, somewhere around there. Which for 60 sheets, I mean, and so that's, I, I think that's gorgeous. So I think they've upped their game on their paper pads. You all tell me if you agree or not. So let me show you my last couple things. I have been wanting um, one of these for a really long time, and I know it's kind of silly, but uh, I got this from Sacred Mementos. Check out her YouTube channel. It's Patty, and she does sales on um, Mondays and Thursday evenings, but um, she had several of these typewriter books, and I've been wanting one, and, and I've eyed them at my local like little antique shops and vintage shops. And they're wanting $20 and $25. So she had this, I think it was $8 I paid for this. And it's in really good shape. But I love how they open this way. And they just have such cool paper. So this one's from 1948. But I just love all the different pictures here. There's some up here of uh, the typewriter and learning all the different keys and understanding See, look at that. It has all the different telling you. There's all the different operations. And it's such a cool, just a cool book. And I love, um, the, I think these will be just fun, fun journal pages. And they'd even be great for the tall skinny journals. You can just fold them in half. And look, there was a little piece of uh, ephemera in here. Isn't that fun? Someone's practicing. Isn't that awesome? So I don't know what that's, you know, how 
old that is or not old but anyway so i love I, that i got one and i got it at a good price so i'm excited i'll have to bring myself to to take the pages out that's the next step of when i buy these books sometimes i have to hold on to them for a while before i can bring myself to tear the pages out and then this one i can't remember what i paid for this but it was a it was a really good price she was feeling super generous that day and this is a music book and it's hardcover and it's big you all it's um 12 by nine and a half and uh, really nine i guess the pages 12 by nine so these will make hopefully they'll be good journal pages but um it's called our heart's delight sweet melodies of the past and present Look at that. I mean, I do want to try to, I want to remake this into um, some sort of journal for me. And I love the little uh, scale, music scale right here too. And the little girl. And then the back is just plain, which is fine. But the the edge of the pages have the gold on them. Can y'all see that? I mean, this book, yeah, I'm going to probably have to hold on to it for a while before I can cut it up but look at this page wow I'm sure this is in camera yeah look at that plate in here isn't that gorgeous and this book was from oh gosh what does that say 1891 you all 1891 I'm so stoked about this book Patty Oh, this book's amazing if you're watching this. But um, they have these black and white plates scattered throughout. And I haven't read through it all yet because um, it just came today. But um, look at these pages. And I think they'll be... Yeah, it seems like they'll fold without cracking. Um, I might want to reinforce them. But, but look at these. Oh, and the coloring on them, just that that antique linen look. I don't know what the paper's made out of. If Patty knows, maybe she can leave a comment down below. But there's plates, look at these black and white. And I'm assuming these are the different um, composers is what I'm guessing, but I don't know. I'm just guessing, so. But it's just, I mean, chock full of music pages that are absolutely stunning. Um, and look at that guy. I love these images. I will definitely be scanning these these uh, images in. But look at this. I mean, there's how many pages? 379, 380 pages. And then look at all this back here in the back. Just some text, really awesome text. Be great for collage or make on pockets. And these are cool back here, old time tunes. But anyway, I, oh, this I am so stoked about this book, so excited. But yeah, so that is my haul. Um, sorry if it went a little too long, but um, I had quite a few um, little stops that I had made, um, and I really am enjoying all the things that I got. It gets me super motivated for some of my different ideas that I have coming. So, yeah. So, you all take care. Remember to check out Junk Journal Friends um, if you want to enter that little giveaway contest. And um, check out my Patreon if you're interested in supporting me over there. But, yeah. Um, thank you all so much. Remember to leave a comment down below and hit the like button. And uh, thank you all so much for all your all support and all your awesome comments. And I will see you all in the next video. All right, bye.